By the end of this video, we're gonna have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use ChatGPT to go viral on YouTube right now because it can help you come up with content ideas, it can help you script your content, and it can even tell you how to edit your content and give you feedback on it once you're done actually creating content. In fact, I just helped this creator implement the strategy to go viral on YouTube, and this creator was able to do the same exact thing, and you could go viral too, so long as you start leveraging AI to help you do it. Now, the first thing you can do with ChatGPT is to get it to give you viral video ideas based on your competitors. For example, you wanna come over here and type in this prompt right here. I would take a screenshot of this. I need you to be an expert at analyzing YouTube video titles and views to come up with new viral content ideas for, and then you are gonna type in your niche right here. I'm gonna put in here finance, and credit repair niche on YouTube. I'm going to upload a list of my competitors' videos and include the views, when it was uploaded, the title, the length, etc. Please help me spot trends that I can implement into my content and give me five to 10 title ideas based on their best performing content. FYI, the ideas should be very closely associated to theirs, but just improve them a bit. Don't make them totally different. So we're going to give this to ChatGPT. And by the way, you could do this with your own content or you could do this with a competitor's content. So it's perfect, I could do that. And then it says, what it's going to do. Now, while it is actually responding here, what you are going to do is you are going to come over to YouTube and you are going to look up one of your competitors. Like I said, we're doing this for the credit space and the finance space. So Mike is going to be a great person to look at here. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab this right here. We're going to pull this down and we're going to grab a bunch of his videos from the last few months. You cannot do their entire content. You just want to do like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 of their latest videos. So we're gonna come over here. Now we're just going to paste that in just like that. And what this is going to do is analyze the content and suggest exactly what we should do based on what is working best for him. And again, you could do this with your own content. You could do this with a competitor. Ideally, you should be doing this with multiple competitors. And this is going to reveal to you exactly what kind of content you should be creating, what length you should create that content. And it's going to give you viral titles for your videos. Okay, so now this is actually done here and this goes through and shows us a bunch of different themes and patterns and it gives us viral title ideas that are very closely modeled after our competitors' greatest hits. Now what we have here are we have 10 different ideas that could do incredibly well. But that was just the first hack. The second hack is gonna make scripting out your content way easier. In fact, it's exactly what I did to help me script this video. And the way that you're gonna do that is by creating a ChatGPT project for YouTube scripts. Because if you create a project on ChatGPT, this is going to allow you to add in custom instructions and it's going to allow you to add in project files. So if we come into the instructions right here, and again, you're gonna to wanna to change this slightly. And also, if you're doing long form content and you're doing shorts, you're gonna to wanna to have two different projects set up here. So I want you to be a YouTube expert script writer that builds me scripts based on the scripts from my past successful videos. Every single response should make a video script that is 10 to 12 minutes long. So those are the instructions instructions in there. If we come into this projects file, we're going to see this right here. Now, if I come over here, I will actually do a search for this on my computer. And I'm going to show you exactly what this actually looks like. So all I did was I took my top three performing videos and I made an outline from them so that this can actually go through and fill this in. So we have this right here, outline number one. We have this right here, outline number two. And then for outline number three, I literally just put in one of my best performing scripts. Now, you need to do that same exact thing for your content, or you could do that for your competitor's content if you're brand new to YouTube and you don't have any videos that actually did well. Now, once you actually do that, here's what you're gonna be able to do now. You literally just come over here, you type in title, and then you put in the title for the video. For example, how to get a thousand followers on TikTok in 24 hours, real results. All I have to do, because I actually have this ChatGPT project made, is this literally just come in, I put in my title right here, it goes through, it gives me the title, and then it actually goes through and creates me the exact video, shows me how long it should be, and again, this is all based on my best performing videos. It tells me exactly what the timestamp should be. It gives me different talking points here. It gives me different social proof, which is something that I commonly do, calls out common mistakes, puts in step number two, and this writes me basically a perfect script. Because otherwise, if we came over here and we just started a new chat and said, please make a YouTube script for this video, 
then we put this in here. What we're going to get from this is something that's not that good because this doesn't actually understand how I write videos on YouTube. So this goes through and just gives me a bunch of stuff here. It's throwing in emojis. It's saying a bunch of random stuff that just wouldn't do well on my YouTube channel. But if you train it based on what actually works on your YouTube channel, then ChatGPT becomes an expert script writer. Now there are still three other ChatGPT hacks that you need to make sure that you're implementing. In fact, the next one is literally going to tell you exactly how to edit your content. But before we get into that, I wanted to make sure that you knew about HubSpot's free AI content assistant that you could check out for free at the pinned comment below. You can use it to help you generate social media posts, write website copy, write blogs, and so much more. In fact, it's one of the fastest ways for you to be able to scale your content creation. Instead of you having to sit there, do most of the work, you could leverage AI to do it for you. And my favorite part about this is how easy it makes repurposing content or remixing content so that you spend less time creating content and more time actually growing on social media. In fact, this is the number one thing right now, separating small channels from large channels on YouTube. Those large channels have become pros at repurposing their content and remixing their content so they're not always having to create something new. Because on average, the channels that are growing the fastest on YouTube right now are posting two to three times more than those smaller channels on YouTube. And this doesn't come down to them working harder or them spending more time. It simply comes down to the fact that they're leveraging AI. So what are you waiting for? Check out the pinned comment below and try it today for free. Now here's the prompt you're gonna use in order to get ChatGPT to tell you how to edit your video or to give you instructions that you can then send to your editor. So you're gonna say here, I need you to be an expert at editing YouTube videos for audience retention. I am going to upload my YouTube transcript. Can you please suggest where B-roll will be placed, what words it should be placed on, and give suggestions for what it should show. I want there to be B-roll 50% of the time in the first 60 seconds, and then it should be varied at a cadence every 10, 20, 30 seconds. The rest of the video don't have either be predictable. So. We're going to type this in right here. Now you could do two things here. One, you could upload your script in here, or if you've already recorded your video, then what you'll be able to do is upload it to YouTube, get the transcript, and then be able to do it. I'm gonna show you a perfect example here. So we're gonna come over to one of Mike's videos, and again, you would do this for your own content, but what you do is come down here, and we'd be able to get the transcript right here. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this, we're going to scroll all the way down, and then this is actually what you're going to be uploading into ChatGPT. So we're going to give it this right here. Again, you would be doing this for your own piece of content that you have already recorded or for the script of your content. But now watch what results this spits out here. It is literally going to tell us where to place B-roll. It is literally going to tell us what should be there. And then guess what we could do? We could send this to our editor or we could reference this when we are actually creating content. And what that is going to do is make editing our content 100 times easier, 100 times faster, and lead to better results. And this literally goes through and shows us exactly where should we should be putting B-roll and exactly what should be shown. And it will do this throughout the entire video. And again, simply pass on these instructions to your editor. It's going to end up becoming a way better video. Or you could actually grab these things, implement them yourself if you're editing your own content. And as a result, your video is going to do way better. Now this next hack I'm about to show you literally just became available within the last few days and I think it's really going to blow your mind. Now what I'm talking about is the ability to actually use ChatGPT to give you feedback on videos. But I will warn you, you can only do this with shorts or if you cut up your long form video into different segments, you'll also be able to do it. So here's what you can do. We could come over here and we could find a video. For example, this is a video that I did right here. We're just going to name it SS right here. We're gonna put this in here. And what we're gonna say is please tell me what I should change about this video. We can put in editing, scripting, storytelling, etc., in order to maximize the audience retention. But you could literally ask us anything. How can I make the hook better? How can I make the editing better? How can I make the script better? How can I make anything better? And what this is going to do is this is actually going to review the content, review the video, and then it is going to give us feedback. So it says, give me a moment to process the file. I'll analyze it now. We could come in here and you could see actually exactly how this is doing this right here, which is pretty insane. And then this is going to go through and give us feedback on exactly what we should change in this video. So the video is 42 seconds long, short form content, likely for TikTok shorts or reels. Now extract and review the audio and the visuals for scripting, pacing, editing, feedback. And then it's going to go through and literally give us feedback. 
Now the last and most important thing that you could use ChatGPT for when it comes to creating viral videos is understanding why your video did do well or why your video didn't do well. And the way that you could do that is by uploading a screenshot of your audience retention graph and the transcript and then asking it what you could do better next time based on what caused viewers to drop off. Check this out. Okay, so here's exactly how we can actually do that. If we come over to this video right here, we're going to be able to see the audience retention graph right here, and I am going to take a screenshot of this. In addition to that, we're coming into the video and we are going to once again grab the transcript right here, and then I am going to come over here, we will open up a new window, and then we are going to type in this prompt right here. Can you please analyze my script and audience retention graph for my latest video below? My goal is 70% retention for the first 30 seconds, 50% retention throughout the entire video. Please identify things I should not do in the future based on where slash why my viewers dropped off here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in here, here's the transcript and we're going to come over here and we're going to copy the transcript. So we're going to come down, we're going to click this, show transcript, and we're going to grab this right here and we're going to be able to upload this. So we're getting all this right here, boom come back into ChatGPT, put that in there. We also need to upload the photo file. So the screenshot that I took, we're gonna upload this right here. So now this has the audience retention, it has a transcript, and this is gonna go through, analyze those things, and it is going to tell me exactly what I should never do again in future videos or different retention insights. So we see an early drop off right here. The early part of the video could have a more engaging visual, a hook or a stronger statement, the flat line decline, things to avoid, and then it goes through and actually lists out everything that I should avoid in my future videos and actually gives me a bunch of different action items that I could begin to implement. And once I start changing these things, it's going to help me go viral on YouTube. Now, if you're sick and tired of not getting the views that you want to on YouTube or the growth or the monetization that you're actually looking for, well, I wanna help you. In fact, I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one to guarantee I can help you grow quicker on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, well, please. Check out this video right here that walks you through exactly how we can work together one-on-one -on -one so I guarantee you grow quicker on YouTube and ultimately get monetized. I'll see you over there.